All right, what's up? I found a good one on this one. This deals especially with the judges and the courts. Because if you didn't know, a courthouse is nothing more than a place of convenience to meet to deal with these matters or these legal prescriptions. So, a courthouse is nothing more than a foreign vessel in dry dock because the courts deal with Appleton Maritime Law. So, do you know exceptions for jurisdictional immunity of a foreign state? Well, because once you take an oath of office, you're considered a foreign citizen. And I believe that no foreign citizen, no foreign state can wage war against any citizen in the United States. So, the yeah, which the foreign state has waived immunity is explicitly or by implication, notwithstanding any withdrawal of the waiver, with the foreign state may purport the effect in accordance with the terms of the waiver. And the best thing I've learned is you can mail all these paperwork to the court clerks, certified mail, but then when you go to court, the paperwork's not in your jacket. And usually it's not the court clerk that signs for that paper. It's one of her little little minions in the back somewhere or somebody lower. That way they can't be held accountable for their actions, which you can, but that's in here too. But it's more bull crap you gotta go through. Anyway, yeah, the best thing to do is when you go into court, if you had to make this far, if you don't get all dismissed, by the proper filing of proper paperwork because it is misrepresentation and deceit um, that you can just express your right because it's a court of record. So as soon as you walk across that little door, which is you pretty much entering into the ship, you would say out loud, for the record, I reserve all my rights. And man, that really screws them up right there because they don't know what to do. Because you can reserve your rights. See in which rights and property taken in violation of international law or an issue of property or property exchange and such property is present in the United States in connection with the commercial activity. Hmm, commercial activity. See? I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can read all this. Or the provision of material support or resources as defined in section 2339A of this title 18. Ooh, I gotta find this. We're in 16 right now, so Appendix C. Personal jurisdiction service of process outside of state. Ooh, we'll get to those too. I just happened to turn to that right off the bat. That was hilarious. We've got some here for Alabama, Iowa. Going back. Columbia Code, Irritated District, Columbia Code. Alabama! <gasps> Look at that, long enough statues, man. Yeah. Boy, I'm glad I love reading all this stuff. You can beat them with their own words. That was 366. That's funny, it's 366. <laughs> You gotta look at some of the page numbers too that some of this stuff is on. Like, it's really weird that some of this stuff is like on certain page numbers. Yeah, so the rabbit hole goes deep. International rules of arbitration and all that fun stuff. See? So, the act occurred in the foreign state against which the claim has been brought, and the claimant has not afforded the foreign state a reasonable opportunity to arbitrate the claim in accordance with the acceptance international rules of arbitration or to neither the claimant nor the victim had was a national of the United States as the term is defined in section 101 a 22 of the immigration or nationally nationality act hmm. United States Constitution subsection 1101 a or as a yep um, an act upon which the claim has been based occurred. Hmm. See? Well, all right, y'all have a good one. I'm going to sit back and read some more stuff. I got some more notes I got to take down over here. So, all right, man, y'all be good. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. Hope we wouldn't do something with this channel. And uh, everybody can take advantage of this because that's what we need. We need to. 
in the fear system to fight back. And they're fighting back with their own words. So peace out. Y'all be good. Like I said, happy fourth. Be safe with fireworks because we had action earlier with some fireworks. So yeah, just make sure you stay safe. And uh, y'all be good.